That completely throws a wrench in my plans. Slay. Flawless. Hi. This is my first time using this lens, so it's... <gasps> my hands look huge. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to my condo series. My name is Jennifer, and to catch you up, I bought a condo in downtown Vancouver a couple months ago. I've posted two condo hunting videos that are very dramatic and kind of go through my process and what I was looking for in a condo. And then I also have an empty condo tour if you wanna see the state of what everything is looking like right now. But today, we are going to be finally starting renovations. There's so many things that I didn't know about condos and renovating. So I waited two to three months for my building to like respond to me which I don't think is normal, but there's a lot of approvals to be done and just a lot of headaches. But on to happier things. So a little recap of what our space is looking like. It's very old 90s vibe, nothing super historical and like unique characteristically in the architecture that I want to maintain. If it had some like ornate details or I don't know, like a fireplace, some brick, I don't know, anything that was unique and cool, I would keep it, but there's absolutely nothing that I feel like needs to be kept. So I'm planning on just demolishing everything, starting from scratch. So in this video, we're gonna be tackling the base layer of everything, basically paint, demolitions, flooring, everything that makes up the foundation of the space. So now the exciting part, let's talk design, color palette, inspo. So I'm gonna pull out my laptop. So here's kind of what I'm going for. This is some inspo for the living room. And now that I'm a little older, I feel like I want my style to be a little more elegant and mature vibes. I still obviously like the really light color palette with some warm touches with the wood. See, I really want some sort of statement lighting piece. Because there's no overhead lighting, which I hate, I wish I could put in overhead lighting that's like recessed lighting, but I don't think that's gonna work out in the condo. So I feel like this bulb design or like arch light would be really cool but that's also later that's not gonna be part of the base i'm getting ahead of myself definitely want to replace the floor with wooden flooring and then basically i want everything to look very modern but not mid-century modern i like didn't know what to call this style and then i found on pinterest neoclassical so this is what i pulled up for a neoclassical kitchen and it's kind of exactly what i'm going for so the cabinetry has the kind of traditional looking frames which i really love but it also also has the you know marble countertops and sleek looking wood and like cabinet lighting it's very much a mix of like traditional and modern which I love that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for I feel like I kind of have no idea what I'm doing but I'll kind of just figure it out as I go today is sample day I'm looking at some samples for the new condo my new condo Honestly, the past couple of days, I've been in this really weird spiral. I've just been like re-looking at old footage and I'm like, did I make the right decision? Like, I feel like I should be like in love with this place. Like it should be this amazing feeling where I know 100% that I made the right decision, but I haven't been feeling that way. Like I've been having a lot of doubt and I think it's because, well, I hope it's because it just isn't looking the way that it's supposed to. Cause like obviously no renovations have been done, but today I'm looking at some samples. The contractor just delivered some of the sample options so let's look over them okay so for flooring i really wanted to go with this like white oak golden color so here are some options we have all of these i really like more warm tones so these gray ones are definitely out of the picture that one's too light i feel like this one this one or this one this one still might be a little too gray for my liking so i feel like one of these two would be good i just hope that they're not too dark. So either sawdust or natural. This one is slightly more warm than this one. This one's a little bit more gray. Actually, this one also is a little more yellow. I feel like you can't really tell on camera that much what the real color is, but I feel like this one is 
a little nicer. Okay, here are some wall tiling options for the bathroom and the kitchen. I don't know if I'm like obsessed with these. I am thinking I probably will go for something marble white, but I might want to brainstorm something a little more unique. The big tiles are a lot better for cleaning and stuff, so this might be more practical. This is a floor tile that I, I mean, at first I was like, absolutely not, but I kind of like it. It's got some like cool detailing. Actually, wait, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Like it's kind of pretty. I just would not, I would not like this at all. This is matte and this is glossy, which I definitely like the glossy better. Here are some cabinet door options. We have this gray one that I definitely will not use. I'm very much into warmer tones. This is like a beige one, which I feel like if I'm gonna go light, I might as well just go for white because I feel like this just looks a little more dirty and aged. So I feel like between these two, there's also this dark wood one. That's just not the aesthetic I'm going for. I feel like this would be really pretty if I was going for a more antique Baroque looking vibe with a lot more like detailed and like opulence vibe, but we're going for a more modern look. So I like this one because it has more details, but this one is very simple, plain, easy on the eyes and like probably easier to clean, to be honest. I'm leaning towards this one and then imagine like gold handlebars. I think that would be so pretty. And then choosing paint colors is a whole nother beast. So I have these paint samples from Benjamin Moore. I have so many options, like. That was not as satisfying as I thought. Let me try with one hand. I was trying to do that trick when like, when magicians like, Anyway, there's so many different colors. You guys know, I'm a white paint girly. Yeah, my contractor was like, what color do you want to paint the walls? So I was like, oh, white. He's like, uh, what kind of white? Because there's like thousands of different whites. And I was like, this is where I get tripped up because I'm so indecisive. We have here off-white collection. Look at how many there are. I really should like look up the color sciences and like how it affects your mood and stuff. I feel like being in a like, cool toned room makes you more sad. I could be wrong though. This one looks like a good basic non thread threatening option. Chantilly lace or distant gray could be nice. Maybe I do want to do beige. I have no idea. I have no idea. Also, it's really hard to tell what things will look like just on a paint chip because it's not in the right lighting. Like I'm obviously not at the condo right now. I will need to see in person. All right, let's talk about some major structural changes that I want to implement. There is currently a wall between the kitchen and the living room. And I feel like I just really want to knock that wall down. I feel like it would make the space feel way more open and larger and airy. And I would be able to see the window through the kitchen, which would be really nice. Downsides are that smoke from cooking would enter the living room, but truly I don't know how much cooking I am gonna be doing. And I also prioritize aesthetics over practicality. Hey, don't judge me. That is something that I really, really wanna do. The other thing I wanna do is take down the storage unit wall because I don't really feel like I will need it. Although I say that now, but looking around my room, there's I have used up every inch of storage I have in here. So maybe that's a mistake, but I, the, basically the plan is I want to extend the wall of the guest bedroom, second bedroom so that it's larger. And then the living, uh, the dining area will also be larger because that storage wall is not there anymore. The only reason I actually thought about this was because the selling agent told me that I should look into to doing that and he gave me this new floor plan that included the larger second bedroom with the extended wall. Let's see if we can make it happen. So over the past couple of days, I've actually had a couple contractors come in to view the condo to see who's the best fit. And I think I've chosen the chosen one and I'm having a call with him later today. Hey Jackie. Hey Jennifer. Thanks for coming in the other day. I wanted to touch base about the wall changes I was wondering about. Yeah, so I looked into the kitchen wall and the bedroom and probably not possible. Wait, really? Yeah, because either way, you got to apply to the city and because of the backlog, that's going to take four to six months. And I mean, even after that, I'm not sure it'd be approved anyway. Four to six months? Yeah, there's a pretty big backlog. And you know, the, the bedroom wall that you wanted to move, it's a structural wall. So like, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, we can always try again and apply, but 
you have to pay for the application, you gotta wait, and honestly, there's a good chance it's gonna be rejected anyway. We could do the kitchen wall, it's definitely more of a possibility because it doesn't look like it's structural, but like, you know, again, you still have to apply and still gotta wait the six months. So you're saying the bedroom wall, like I, so originally I was gonna push it like a meter, I basically just can't touch it at all? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Okay, for the kitchen wall, you're saying that's still a possibility. What if we just open up part of the kitchen wall? Yeah, we could do that. We can make it more of an L-shaped opening, put in a flat stove top and a hanging hood, something like that. That's that's definitely doable. Okay, well, thanks for hopping on this call. I'm gonna think about it more because this kind of changes some of my design plans. All right, yeah, let me know. All right, thank you. Okay, well... <laughs> That completely throws a wrench in my plans because my whole design process was kind of hinging on the fact that I was going to be able to open up those walls and make the space feel bigger. Okay, so basically the selling agent lied to me. He was selling me on this hypothetical idea that actually cannot be reality. He's basically telling me that these walls can be opened up when they really can't be. Obviously, I'm not a structural engineer, so I did not know these things, but now I do know. So he said that opening up the kitchen wall is a possibility but like only part of the wall and just like opening up a hole but at that point it's like what's the point you know what i mean like it also would get rid of a lot of storage space for the cabinets which there already is not that much storage space i mean i feel like i might just leave it closed and make do but i'll make it look good clearly this is my first time working in a condo previously i've just been working in this house which you can do whatever you want and i just assume that whenever you own your own property you can just do whatever you Want. But a condo is different because it's attached to other people's units. The whole building has its own infrastructure. Lots to be learned. In the meantime, let's tackle some stuff that I can actually do. All right, I am back at the condo. I'm ready to get started on some changes. The first step is this behind me, which is a wall, but more specifically, it's the color. Right now, we're actually getting some good sunlight, but when I toured this place, it was kind of in the winter, so it wasn't super bright. And you guys know I love my good lighting. I love my bright walls. It is time to choose a paint color. Now let's take a wild guess at what paint color I want. It is white. Are we surprised? We're never surprised at this point. But here's the key difference. This time, I'm not just gonna stick with like the basic white. This will be the ultimate white shade that slays them all. Over here, actually wait, stay there. Now, this is where my bestie Benjamin Moore comes in. I just wanna say a huge thank you to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring this video. You guys know, I did this like chair thrift flip video where I painted over a chair and I used Benjamin Moore paints in those because they were the only ones that worked and the only ones that had like the selection of paint colors I wanted because they're my besties. Time to choose some paint samples. Okay, so Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 colors, which is insane and with so many to choose from, I'm indecisive, so I wanted to make sure I made the right choice, so I went on Benjamin Moore's website, and because they have their own formulas, their colors can't be replicated with any other brand of paint. I ended up ordering a couple 8-ounce samples from their e-store. The process was super simple. I received them in a couple days. I have picked out six different samples. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm literally insane and so meticulous for no reason, but I picked out six shades of white that you are going to think look look the same, but I, I wanted to try them out on the wall because I just want to see how it reflects the lighting. This unit tends to have more bluish lighting during the day. Right now is more warm. I have all my besties lined up here, but they're not about to be besties in two seconds because I am pitting them up against each other. The way that I picked out my white shades was I picked white shades that had a little bit of a warm tone to them to cancel out any blue shadows that would come in. I would rather the place look a lot more warm than a lot more cool because when a place looks warm, it feels homey, inviting. You just feel more happy. When it's cold, that's like the lighting that you get in the winter time and for me I tend to feel more sad and like not wanting to do anything. All right, I'm gonna test this patch This is simply white. This is gonna be the first thing that I am doing to the whole place that I'm changing Okay, that's white This is kind of like plain white. I mean obviously it gets this it does look a lot more cool blue toned Which I don't really want but it's really bright which I like a lot. Okay, here's my issue also. I only have one brush, so 
I'm not gonna double dip. I'm gonna wash this real quick. Next, this is White Dove. Why does that look the same? Um, <laughs> I might have picked shades that were too close in color. Okay, actually, I kind of see a difference. This is cotton balls. Oh, I definitely see a difference with this one. It's definitely warmer and a little less bright. This is Easter Lily. I feel like this is kind of similar. Navajo White. Oh. Pretty. Okay, last one is powder sand. Oh, interesting. All right, guys, everything is dried now and the results are in. Let's take a gander. Now, <coughs> I know, mm, listen, I've taken a look at the footage on the camera and I know you can't tell a difference. So this is not very advantageous for you and only adds to the fact that you probably think I'm delusional, but my dad is with me and you can tell a difference too, right? Mm -hmm. That's an affirmative. These two are super white and I've determined they're too blue, too white for this space. These two, they're not as bright as these. They're just a little warmer. This one is slightly brighter than this one. These two are like the darkest shades, but they're not that dark. I'm leaning towards one of these two. Honestly, I feel like if I choose one of these, I won't go wrong. We have a winner. The number one bestie, slay, queen, girl boss. All right, let's get to painting. Hello besties, welcome back to this wall. Today's very exciting because I have my paint here from Benjamin Moore. I got the Regal Select line and I ended up getting the color Cotton Balls, which is not the color that I selected previously, it's actually this one. So I am excited to get started. I'm starting with this living room wall because I feel like it's the first room that you really enter and feel welcomed into. Once this wall is painted, I'm gonna feel like the condo is more me. Not Right now there's like, this is all from the previous owners. I wanna put me into this. Let's get started. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, that's literally so opaque. I literally just did one coat. I think that painting montages are so satisfying. So here is a painting montage. By the way, check out Benjamin Moore's e-store to find your own paint samples and to find a local store near you. I told you. It would cost like ten dollars to get a new one. As you can see behind me, we have finished the first coat and it's looking already really solid, really opaque. So I think we only need one more layer. So we're gonna do that. Also, if you look up at the top, the ceiling, we kind of didn't bother taping the ceiling at all. And also on the floor, there's like paint on the carpet. This is kind of my favorite part. We're tearing out the carpet. We're taking away the popcorn ceiling. We don't have to tape anything, which is so nice because I don't have to be careful. It's already looking so much brighter and larger. I was standing in the hallway and I was just looking out and I'm like, <laughs> it looks so big now and fancy and just like, it's insane how a fresh coat of paint can make everything look so much newer. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's so pretty outside. Not me just looking at the view while dad DIY does all the painting. No, I have been doing a lot of painting, but okay, here's the stitch. We originally had two paint rollers, but one of them is broken. And I was like, we should just go get a new one. It'll be like less than $10. It'll take like five minutes. My dad was like, no, we're gonna make this old roller work. It was fixed for about five minutes and then it stopped working. And I was like, I wanna say I told you so, but I told you so. So now we're out here with only one roller and Paint brushes, so I'm doing more of like the detailing work. You mean tons of fun and I mean No. <laughs> <laughs> We are tapping out for the night. We just finished painting the two main walls that I need to paint today, which is amazing. And I'm gonna let these dry overnight, but they look so good and like 
flawless. Like, I literally only used two coats and flawless. Flawless. Hello guys, I'm back at the condo. It's been a couple days later and the paint has dried. It looks phenomenal. I'm so excited to get started. Um, the rest of the walls are going to be painted. I only have these two walls painted currently. Okay, so here's the plan. I want to make these two walls like not necessarily statement walls, but I want to put a decorative spin on them because I feel like it looks a little too plain for my liking. I want to make the walls pop a little bit. So here is my inspo. I'm not going to try to sound like I'm smart and everything and know my era as well because I really don't. I'm just going to say it's like the French European wall molding stuff from 1800s. Don't quote me on that, I really don't know. There's some drama to the story. We were supposed to install this yesterday. We went to the hardware store to go pick up the lumber and it was $600. I was like, babes, that's a little bit extreme. We were like, okay, we're not doing that. So we went to a different place that's like 45 minutes away. It was a lot farther, but we ended up getting all the wood for $150. That's like three times less. Okay, the plan is to add four boxes on this side, two large ones on the top, two small on the bottom, and then six on this wall. And then on this wall, I'm trying to do just like a chair rail across the middle and then two on the bottom. I'm really excited. I wanted to pre-paint these two walls because I just like couldn't wait to get started. But for the rest of the walls, they're going to be spray painted by the contractors with the same exact paint, same exact paint color. But I just wanted to see like what the final statement wall would look like before they came in and I'm just gonna install the wood on this wall and then they'll just spray paint over it but I'm excited to get started wait what's the length on here is that 25 mm -hmm. well we could also cut it in the middle we could also cut a hole for it for that sprinkler for sure. Sure. Is it gonna look good? so we just got these wall trim pieces they're actually pretty thin I think these ones are like three quarters of an inch but I kind of like the thin look to make it look a little delicate and really ornate so they're just wall trim pieces these were actually so hard to find yeah we got a bunch of pieces and we're gonna cut them into squares obviously my dad made the plans because i was just not in the mood to do math i'm sorry but he did a great job so let's do it <laughs> it's hard. oh my god why is it not done yet? I know, but it's so hard. It's so easy. Wait, okay, I did most of the work already. <laughs> green taped everything in place just to see if we actually like the spacing. I think it looks really good. Honestly, a lot of this will be covered by the sofa anyway, so it doesn't have to be super accurate at the bottom, but it looks pretty good. So we're gonna start nailing. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> 10 months. You do it. It is currently 11 p.m. 
and we are tapping out for the night. Normally, we would just keep banging away with the hammers until the a.m., but this is a condo and there are other people living here, which is something I didn't really think about, but we got a lot done today. This wall is pretty much ready and prepped to be painted. It looks so good, but I will see you tomorrow. We'll get a lot of good sleep tonight. Goodbye. back on another day. I saw I'm really tired, so I, I'm not giving right now. So we ran into an issue where I think there's a panel on the wall that is like cement behind it. So this is probably a structural wall. And we tried nailing frame and the nail just would not go in for this whole entire like two meter wall. I got this called No More Nails. So it's an adhesive and we're just gonna glue everything to the walls. And it should be a lot easier than nailing. And then we just have to go and fill in all the holes and then we should be ready to go. Everything is looking really nice already. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's so hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Oh, am I just really weak? <laughs> We're trying really hard. <laughs> Look at how much is coming out. <laughs> Wait, maybe the hole's not big enough. No, well, we cut easy. the we cut the hole bigger. It was a lot. So these are the completed wall moldings. I think they look so good and it elevates the space so much even though it seems like it's kind of simple, but it just adds so much character. And of course, these are gonna be painted over. Then it was finally time for demolition. So that is the progress so far on the condo. This is not my condo. I am in Paris right now. Okay, let me just flex for one second. Anyway, actually being in this Airbnb is giving me a lot of inspiration for what I want my condo to look like with all of the classical wall moldings and all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, everything is completely demolished. The whole designing process and building process is finally beginning. So I'm so excited for you guys to see what happens. Make sure to stream my song Counting Sheep and I will see you guys next time. Bye.